you. Our team coverage moves now to Broward County Schools, uh, public schools, and that's where CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live at Virginia Schumann Young Elementary School in Fort Lauderdale. Ted. Yeah, Walter, right now it is business as usual. Schools are in session here in Broward. However, talking to parents today, they said they had no idea that any of this was going on. They weren't told. Children fill the playground in schools around Broward today, despite a threat that came in late last night. Broward Schools released a statement this morning saying they received an email similar to the emails received in other school districts, such as Los Angeles, New York, Houston, and Miami-Dade. It went on to say, at this juncture, the threat is deemed as less than credible. It's kind of crazy that I hear that there's a threat. That's kind of scary. To think. As parents dropped their kids off at school this morning, most were in the dark about the threat. They were never told. And have the schools been telling you anything about this? No, nothing at all. Not a notice, not a phone call, not an email, nothing. I'm going to inquire now. Fallon Hayes figured it was just a matter of time. I know it's going around everywhere, and I was unfortunately waiting for something to happen here because it is a big city, you know, next to Miami. And I'm very nervous, I'm very worried. Broward Schools said since the threat was deemed not credible, they are operating on a normal schedule, but went on to say school district police are out in schools, staying in close communication with local law enforcement. Say so far, we have not heard from school superintendent Robert Runcy. Uh, we're expecting a news conference later on this afternoon from the school superintendent. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.